You ask, I answer. Welcome to another page here in my 365 days journal. My name is Luisa Heinzel and a while ago I've asked you to ask me questions, things that you always wanted to know about me and today I would like to answer some more of your questions and at the same time as always I would like to create a page in this journal. The first question that I would like to answer comes from a person who is asking me nearly every day <laughs> <laughs> why her question wasn't answered yet. Of course, I'm just kidding, but she is totally nerve-wracking with asking why her, uh, why her question wasn't answered yet. <laughs> I'm talking about Sonja alias Elise Klatschmon. You probably have heard already about her. If you watch my channel, you know that I'm a really, really big fan of her and her artwork. And we are really good friends. So, of course, she's allowed to ask me every day why her question wasn't answered yet. <laughs> But to avoid that for the future, let's go and let's answer the question. So, Sonja has seen a very old video on my channel where I have shown parts of my bed and my bedroom that's actually in my caravan. And there were two stuffed animals laying on the bed. And I <laughs> accidentally said, if someone would like to know the story behind those both stuffed animals, then please let me know. And Sonia took the chance to ask exactly that question for this 365 Days Journal series here on my YouTube channel. <laughs> so let's answer that question. Those both animals have a really, really big meaning for me, even if the story behind those both is really, really different. As you can see, I'm working with a cheese package today on my page, and that's because I wanted to have a cow in my journal, because one of those stuffed animals is a cow and the other one is a monkey. The cow is in my life for... I would say 37, 38 years. Uh, I have it since I was a child and there's a really nice story behind that that influences my life today as well. When I was a child, I was on a holiday with my mother and my grandma and we wanted to go to the island Borkum And for that, we took a ferry to go to this island. And on the ferry, there was some problem with our baggage. And my mother and my grandmother had really big problems to bring the single pieces from one place to the other and to organize everything on the ferry. And um, they had me with them <laughs> so I was a problem in that moment for them so my mother decided to um, say to me Luise go to this end of the stairs there and there you have to wait until we are coming back and to protect me and to give me something that I can hold in my hands to be not alone she gave me that cow And this cow, yeah, <laughs> it was like like a bodyguard for myself. And I was standing there and waiting until the both were back. And that was for me something really impressive. And it's impressive today as well. Because this cow was in my whole life some kind of a really weird companion or a friend. Um, even if it can't <laughs> talk to me, of course. But, you know, as a child, you can talk to everything. And you can also talk to a stuffed animal. And an, such an animal can be your friend. And that's what it was for me. And this cow has, real, has had really big problems in her past life. Because my brother and also the friends of my brother couldn't understand why I had this cow and why that was so important for me. So when we all were trials, um, my brother decided to 
throw this cow through the air, through my room. And it also was in different liquid <laughs> thingies, you know. <laughs> he he um, has showered it with different liquids and not so nice things, I have to say. <laughs> and the cow also had to go to the washing machine very often. But... Um, Yeah, this cow, is. it had a name actually. The cow is called Moo Koo. That's because, I mean, that is not a very original name, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's really simple because cow in German is Koo. And this sound that the cow is making is Moo. Do you know? <laughs> so <laughs> it was called Moo Koo. And I have it still today in my bed and this cow I need this cow to go to sleep I, I can't sleep without this cow that's for me the most important thing when I go to bed in the evening that I have the cow and that the cow is in the right place otherwise I can't sleep and it's the same with the little monkey but <clears throat> the monkey on the one hand it has no name it's monkey <laughs> in German um, I say Äffchen um, that's a little bit hard to explain. So monkey is Affe in German, but Affe is actually a really big monkey. So a normal sized monkey. When you say Äffchen, this Chen at the end of this word makes the word smaller and the thing itself smaller. It's the same, for example, with brother, Bruder. When you have a small brother, you can say Brüderchen. This Chen makes the brother smaller and it's actually something that is really sweet and cute. And this Chen says that it is cute. Yeah. So <laughs> Äffchen, <laughs> this little monkey, has only this name. It, it has no real name. And with the monkey, it's really strange because I can't remember that I had this monkey in my childhood. My father told me that I had it at the same time when I had the cow. But in my brain, there's like a black hole. I can't remember. And then later on, that's actually only a few years ago, my father gave um, this monkey back to me. And he said, here, I have another stuffed animal from your childhood. Um, I'm sure you want to take that and take it with you to Austria. And I was like, what the heck is that? I can't remember. And for me, that's strange because there are so many things that I can remember from, from my childhood. But, but this monkey, it is completely out of my brain. But anyway, <laughs> this also answers a part of Angie's and Liz's question. They have asked, what is a favorite childhood tradition for you? And what were your interests and hobbies as a children? So a very big tradition, of course, was to go to bed with this cow. And another really favorite thing in my childhood was, and that's, I would say, also a tradition because we did it every year. It was to go swimming in Italy. My family and myself went to holiday to Italy every single year. It was always the same campsite. I've also um, told you something about that in one of the other videos within this series. Um, and a really big tradition was to jump out of the car when we had arrived at the campsite and then immediately run to the sea, jump into the water and stay there until our fingers were like, you know, <laughs> when you stay too long in the water, you have this really weird things on the fingers. And that was a tradition, I would say. It was, a re it's still a really, really warm memory for me. Every time I think about that, it warms my heart so much because I'm so grateful that I had the possibility to go to such a, yeah, such an amazing holiday with my parents. When you are a child, you perhaps think, oh, another holiday with my parents and it's the same campsite as it was the last years. Uh, I have to say, <clears throat> if I shall be honest, 
for me as a child, it was sometimes really boring. I wanted to go somewhere else to perhaps another campsite or another town or even another country. But from from um, when I see it now, then I can say I'm really grateful and it was a really big luck that I could do that with my parents and with my whole family. And that's a tradition for me, um, not only in combination with holiday, but swimming is for me also something that is yeah, some kind of a tradition. It, it's really hard for me to explain. But um, some of you have asked when I was born. I was born in February 1981. So that means I'm 41 now to answer that question as well. And some of you wanted to know which star sign I am. So born in February means I'm Aquarius. And I guess that water <laughs> has something to do with my star sign as well. I really don't have any knowledge about star signs and, and that stuff. But for me, water was always something really special. Because <clears throat> when we had um, sports lessons in school, for example, I was always this kind of, yeah... <laughs> the girl who is sitting in one of the corners of the sports room crying with really bad condition, bad certificates at the end of the school year. And I was always this, you know, little fat girl that isn't able to do any sports. But water was always exactly the opposite for me because water was like being free and I could do many things in water that I wasn't able to do without the water. I mean in normal sports lessons that you do on the ground, you know what I mean, in a, in a sports room or in a gym for example. And for me water is something really really important and I also have some um, certificates in um, swimming so when I was a preschool teacher I needed that of course to be allowed to teach the children uh, how to swim and for me that's really <laughs> unbelievable that I'm not this athletic person but in the water everything is no problem <laughs> that's really really cool for me And that answers also the question of Donna. She has asked me, what was your favorite childhood toy? So um, that's everything that had to do with water. So everything that you can take into the water and play there um, was my favorite childhood toy. And of course, the cow. <laughs> Don't miss the cow. And the funny thing is, Every time when I go to bed now, I mean, I took the cow with me here to Austria and this little monkey as well. And every night when I go to bed, I have both with me. And when my hubby, I mean, he's not my hubby, we are not married, but you know what I mean. I'm always saying my hubby. <laughs> when my hubby Gary is going to bed with me, then he always says, Luisa, do you have... You're both monkeys. You're both Äffchen with you. <laughs> so that's good. So then you can go to sleep now. So he wants to say that he is one of the monkeys and the actual monkey is the second one. <laughs> He's making this joke nearly every day when we want to go to bed in the evening. And that's something really special for me as well. And it brings this stuffed animal to my heart way more than without this sentence and without this joke. I hope you enjoyed this little story and also the page in my journal. I hope we will see you the next time. Have a very great day. See you!